Louisiana Beer Reviews, Rev. This is a coffee stout from Parish Brewing Company. Coffee Roasters, Rev. Was introduced in 2016. I've never tried it until today. Was bottled on September 12th, 2018. So 18 days ago. Um, they're using a Colombian and Indonesian coffee. It's from Broussard, Louisiana. It's sold in bottles and on draft. I'd like to try the draft version. 7.2% alcohol, so they're taking it an export stout um, like Guinness Farm Extra stout level ABV and they're putting the coffee in there it gets an outstanding rating as Beer Advocate sees it with 57 ratings they give it an 89 out of 100 Rape Beer with only 13 ratings is giving it a 97 out of 100 and a 98 out of 100 in the style and then Untap with 3,445 check-ins is giving it an 85. So 85 up to 97. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, there is one other video review. So I'll be curious to watch theirs. It looks like it was a duo review. Two guys looking at it. I believe over in Texas to where they were. Looking at it. Well, this brewery here, Parish in Broussard. They're, they're as close to Texas as they are to this area. Actually, they're closer to Texas than they are to this parish, St. John the Baptist Parish, or this exact town. So they're about in a straight line, about 100 miles from Texas by road, 105 miles, 106, something like that, but not far. So those people out there in Lafayette Parish, they running over to Beaumont and Houston all the time, believe me. It's a very short deal for them. All right. Um, thin, be thicker than a narrower brim glass. Thin, beige, uh, tan head, really. A tan head, beige to tan, okay, in between those, and a very dark brown, nearly black appearance. It's cloudy here at 8. 15 a.m. If the sun was shining brightly, you would pick up some brown on the edges, I believe. Woo! Ho, ho, ho! That is some strong coffee in the aroma. Dark roasted barley malt. Now, they don't list the malts or the hops, okay? I wanted to find that, but they didn't list it. But dark roasted mar barley malt, dark bread crust, and strong coffee and cream and some sweetness so think of a sweet dark roasted coffee with cream added okay that is what we're picking up wonderful 2.99 for the bottle by the way at martin wine cellar um creamy mouthfeel i'll add that kind of a viscous creamy But medium mouthfeel, not heavy. No, medium. Almost into lower medium, really. All the things I described in the aroma. Dark, roasted, chocolate. Dark roasted malt, chocolate, coffee. Dark roasted coffee. Maybe char, yes, but not burnt. Sometimes these companies will make a dark beer and it tastes burnt, whether it's a Schwartz beer or a dark, you know, black lager or an ale. It just tastes burnt. I remember remarking about the Samuel Adams black lager. I liked it and everything, but I said it tasted burnt. Okay. Uh, and you can look at some of those dark chocolate malts, and you can see they look, some of them, they look burnt when you see them ready to be uh, brewed. Um, certainly some cream. And it's a semi semi sweet finish, semi sweet, dark chocolate in the chocolate flavor, and milk chocolate both. Fabulous, I think Ray Beer's right on this one. It's an outstanding product. Untapped saying 85, I would call that good. 
89 I would call a B plus. That's my rating scale. We all have, many of us have different rating scales. But 98, 97, and 98, that's outstanding. That's approaching world class. This is a very interesting brewing company. My friend David said they have fabulous tours over there. And I believe it. And uh, he also uh, has, oh, there's the brown coming into play. He's also remarked on the um, Bayou Tesh Brewing. New LA 31 Bayou Tesh in Arnoldville. So I'd like to check them out. So, Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay. Dynamite, outstanding product. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.